Congratulations on receiving your equipment from Paradise POS. Now typically you're going to want to have this scheduled ahead of time. That way we have a dedicated tech on the line with you, walking you through the process each and every step of the way. Obviously life happens and you may not have been able to do that. So today I'm going to be walking you through putting together one station. Obviously if you have multiple stations, you're going to want to duplicate the process for each and every one. So I'm going to start with showing you everything you should have received in your box. Okay, so let's get started. In your box, you're going to be receiving quite a few things. There will be a quick start guide to help you, as well as our router and pie, which will look like this. So here's our router, and this is the pie. It's also known as the print queue. It's going to help facilitate your print jobs. So now we have our stand. In this box, you'll actually be receiving your iPad as well and then the stand, which will look like this. You're also going to receive your printer. If you receive the MC print, this is the box that it will look like. Inside, you'll have a couple of different things. Obviously, you have some power cords. They always include a roll of paper, a little bit of extra paper. And then we have our main And it looks like this. Let's flip it. This smaller box is going to have your credit card terminal in it. And inside you will find the credit card terminal along with the power cords as well as some outlets which you'll be plugging an ethernet line into. Now in this box will be your cash drawer. Now also in this box you'll receive the cable which you'll be connecting the drawer to your printer with. So make sure you have this. You will also receive a few ethernet ports depending on what your equipment needs. And if you order them, you will also have a power strip. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and find the TP-Link router that we send, which will also have the Pi attached to it. Now, with this router, you're going to need to locate their main source of internet, whether it's a modem or a router, because we're going to want to feed internet into our router. The way you're going to do that is you're going to take an ethernet cord, just like this, and you're going to plug it into the back of the router, into the blue port that actually says internet. So we'll stick this in here, and then the other end will just go into any open port in the back of their modem or router. Once you do that, you definitely need to supply this with some power. So we'll plug the power cord into the back of the router, like so, and then just plug it up into your power supply. Now, on the front of the router, you will notice that a couple lights will start to appear. Eventually, they should all appear green, and specifically, the spaceship one, which is this one right here, this is the one that you want to make sure turns green as well. Keep in mind, the orange pie, the clear box, this will need power as well, so we're going to go ahead and plug this up also. Next up, we have our printer. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and load the paper into it. On the front of the printer, there is a little toggle that you just push down, which will open like so. Then I'm going to take my paper. There are instructions on the inside of the printer. 
The paper will always go over the top, like so. You'll just place it into the printer and then snap it back shut. After you have the paper loaded into the printer, you're going to want to turn the printer around and on the back side, this can be a little tricky, you're going to want to go ahead and pop the cover off. Sometimes it takes a little bit of finagling, but all you have to do is hold these two tabs on the side and then it'll pop off just like so. Now, on the back of the printer, it actually will have everything labeled so that you'll know where to put each of the cords into. I'm going to start with the internet. So, you'll take an ethernet cord and plug it in underneath. Just like that. Now this end will go into the back of our TP-Link router that we provide you. Next up, I'm going to be plugging in the Apple charging cord. This is going to supply power to your iPad once we have that connection. And it does say iPad where you connect this. Like that. Now we have our cash drawer cord. This cord specifically is really nice because it will have the ends labeled. One end will say printer, and then one end will say cash drawer. So you're gonna to wanna to take the end that says printer and plug this into the back. And then like I said, the other end will be going underneath your cash drawer. Now, to supply power to this printer, you will want to go ahead and take the cord I will go ahead and plug it, or run it, through the stand to make it easier on you. And then you can plug it into the back of the printer. Okay. Now, once you have everything plugged in, you'll just want to take the back cover and pop it back into place. Now that you have the back piece placed on your printer, you're going to want to go ahead and run the cords through the bottom of the stand, that way they're out of the way. So you'll have your iPad charging cord, your line to the internet, and then your cable to connect it to the cash drawer. And like I said, it does say cash drawer on this end, so you'll know. And then of course you're going to want to go ahead and plug in your power supply so that your printer will turn on. And then your printer can just sit at the bottom of the stand like so. Once you've placed all your cords through the bottom of the base, we're going to go ahead and attach the iPad to the stand. Now on the back of your iPad you will notice a metal plate with two knobs on it. These two knobs are going to allow you to slide the iPad into the top part of the stand. Now, on the bottom of this piece, there is a little knob that you can pull on if you would like to remove your iPad back off of it. So, let's take our iPad. So, you'll just line up those two knobs. and slide it into place, like so. Now that we've got our iPad on the stand, I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to our cash drawer. So underneath your cash drawer is a port, and then you'll take the end, that does say cash drawer, and plug it into it. Put it back down, and then we can start assembling everything on top of the drawer. I'm now going to plug the iPad charger into the iPad. And now I'll work with the car terminal. So with this credit card terminal, this is an S300. You may receive a different kind, but for this one specifically, we're gonna take the ends of it and use the red port. With the red port, we're going to plug in an ethernet line, like that. 
and then run the other end and plug it into the TP-Link router that we provided. To supply power to the car terminal, you'll take the cord. And the port is actually in the same location as these colored ones. You'll plug it on the side, like so, and then plug this in into your power supply. After we've connected all of the equipment, we'll test everything to make sure it's working properly. For your cash drawer, you'll just want to hit the orange open drawer button right here in the bottom left corner, and your drawer should pop open automatically. To test your printer, you're going to go to Admin, Printer Maintenance, select the printer that you're working with, and then hit Test Print at the bottom of the screen. To test your car terminal, you'll ring up a sale, take it to the pay screen by pressing pay, select credit, and then the terminal should be prompting you to swipe or insert your car. If it's got a chip in it, you'll go ahead and insert it in the bottom. Otherwise, you can just swipe it. If you're setting up for the first time, go ahead and schedule a phone call with our dedicated install and training team so that we can walk you through the entire process as well as train you over the software. All agents and merchants are sent the scheduling link, but you can also find this link on the first page of the guide that was included with your equipment. All installs and trainings have to be scheduled from Monday through Friday between 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central. Thank you for choosing Paradise and we look forward to working with you.